This is a patient that lives in another city that was visiting Chicago and came to see me with her tooth in her hand. She had had a crown done on the tooth a couple of years ago and then the tooth had died and they did a root canal through the tooth and it was a little bit weaker and she had gotten into an accident that sheared the tooth off the root. And you can see from looking at it here, the little pink material, that's the root canal uh, material called gutta percha. And you can see the gum tissue, how red that is. It's up underneath the, the gum. The other tooth that had a crown done, but no root canal. And you can see like the little red edematous area. And when you put air on the gum tissue, how it pushes off a little bit. And the same redness is in the area the, where the tooth is missing. Anyways, in order to fix this or to get it by for a temporary procedure, we bonded the adjacent teeth, which are her normal teeth, uh, to the porcelain crown. And we used some clear cement uh, to do that, or actually veneer cement. Here it is in place, and we have the back of the tooth you can see a little uh, darker area that's where the original filling from the uh, filling up the root canal was done uh, it was just a little bit more needed to be added so we took some more uh, actually this is flowable composite and we just placed it in little grooves and then bonded that in place as well now the tooth itself uh, uh, is a was touching too much so we took some articulating paper and we adjusted the bite so that the patient would be able to keep the tooth in place until she sees her dentist back home. When she bites down you'll see the little mark on the tooth and we adjust that and because she has a tendency it looks like to grinding her teeth when we take a look at her front teeth you'll notice some of the stress fractures uh, I also adjusted it from side to side so that she wouldn't touch it when she sleeps. She does wear a night guard, but she didn't have it with her, and we wanted her to be able to function without having any problems. Looks like this root is pretty hopeless, won't be able to be salvaged. There's a little red mark, uh, we adjust that, and also the edge of the teeth as she goes side to side, we adjusted that as well. And you can see right in this photo right there on the central incisor, uh, the little uh, stress fractures. And I wanted to make sure that uh, she would be able to sleep at night and keep the tooth in.